and he comes out of nowhere. Yeah, who does this belong to? For a delivery guy. A delivery guy? Yeah. Okay, where's the delivery guy? He went to somewhere. So he always leaves it here? No. Uh -huh. Do you, do you uh, give deliveries to these drivers? No, 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 no. Why are you giving unlicensed uh, drivers packages to deliver? I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand what you're talking about. What do you hope that anyone watching your, this story understands for everyone, for every parent and child in the city of New York? So I think it goes beyond um, the basics of teaching her children to cross the streets because obviously she did what she needed to do to get across. She looked. Um, what needs to be done, I think, is that law officials and the government need to start taking control over who the restaurants hire for delivery men. They were using a moped, which was unregistered. The driver was not licensed to drive the moped. He did not have a driver's license. I don't even know if he's a legal citizen of the United States, so we don't even know how we're going to go about tracking him down. Um, and at the end of the day, I think that not only does the man need to be held um, accountable, I think the restaurant owner needs to be held accountable. Because even if I go, we, this driver does get just penalties from the, from the law because he was driving without a license, without a registration. But tomorrow the, the owner of the Chinese restaurant is going to go ahead and hire somebody else. And basically if we don't stop it from the top, it's just going to keep perpetuating itself.